In this video, I'll show you how to add a handling fee per product within your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So now the second step, assuming you've downloaded the Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin, is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you'd go Plugins, Add New, go ahead and upload and install the file in which you've just downloaded. It's the WooSuite Core plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Activate your license key and then go ahead and navigate over to add-ons. Once you're on the add-ons page, you just want to go ahead and toggle this dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin to on. And now we can go ahead and click manage. Or if you refresh the page, you can go ahead and click on this dynamic pricing rules here. They both take you to the same place. And now from here, the third and final step is to just go ahead and configure our fee per item. So we'll navigate to where it says checkout fees here. Okay, and I've already created a rule here. You can go ahead and create multiple different rules. So with this one, first we just give it a name and this is just for internal purposes, right? And then here where it says checkout fee label, this will display on the checkout page. So you want to name it something meaningful that makes sense to the user. Okay, like handling fee, for example. And this is just basically the fee of fulfilling that particular order. So hopefully you already know um, the extra cost for your packaging, the time it will take to prepare the order, the storage and so on. And you just incorporate that into the overall um, checkout process. Here where it says applies without coupon, you want to leave this as default. If you wanted, you could up to add a fee triggered by a coupon. So let's say, for example, you can add a standard coupon code. So you could give a user X amount off. But then if the user used that coupon code, maybe you can add a extra fee on top of it or something like that. But in this case, we just want to keep everything simple. I'm going to set this to without coupon code. OK, and then when here where it says fee fee based on, I'm going to select cart item here so we can choose from cart total or cart item and then for the type we can choose to add a fixed adjustment per item or a percentage adjustment per item okay so that simply means let's say we had a product for a hundred dollars if we chose percentage here and then here i've added um five percent so it'll basically add a five percent fee to that um hundred dollars product right so the user will be charged five dollars essentially or we can charge a fixed amount which is what i'll do in this um, tutorial of five dollars and then when we scroll down to to conditions so in the future as well we'll be adding multiple different conditions so for now we can choose um, per shipping method or payment method so in this case I'm going to choose per payment method right and then here I'm going to set the conditions to in so this handling fee per product will trigger when a user selects the PayPal Express payment method and it would probably make sense to add all the payment methods here because we want to charge um, all users this handling fee but for this example, I'm just going to select um, PayPal Express just so you can see the difference on the checkout page. OK, so I'm just going to hit Save Changes. OK, and now when we head back over to our checkout page. OK, so I've got two items in my cart right now. So both these items cost $45 each. So 45 add 45 is $90. However, when we refresh this page and then when we select the PayPal Express payment method, our um, handling fee should be applied. So let's first refresh this page. Okay, we can still see that it's um, $90, right? And then let's go ahead and select PayPal. And now when we scroll up, it's added that extra $5 um, handling fee per product. So now the user's being charged $50 per product. We're also in the process as well of giving you the option as to, instead of adding it to the product price, we can, let's head back over to the dashboard. And I'm gonna switch this to cart total. And I'm going to show you um, how we're going to adjust this. OK, so now when we refresh this page, instead of the fee being applied directly to the product here, you can see we've got the label here, which says fee per product. And here the user can see the handling fee that they're being charged. So let's change that to something more appropriate. Let's just say handling fee. And now when we hit save changes and let's refresh this page. So now the user can see a more transparent breakdown of the pricing. So they can see clearly see that they've been charged a handling fee of $5. So we'll give you the option so you can decide whether you want to display the handling fee like this or if you want to just add it directly to the pricing. There's some um, cases where it makes sense to just add it directly to the pricing, like we've seen um, customers wanting that feature. 
um, for various different reasons, which I won't get into. And I see you add a handling fee per product in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.